Anti-Israel protesters causing major disruptions as they bring Los Angeles traffic to a standstill. Shut it down! Shut it down! Meanwhile, after a horrendous testimony about anti-Semitism on campus, Harvard President Claudine Gay, who still gets to keep her job, breaking cover to attend a Hanukkah menorah ceremony. Fox and Friends weekend co-host and Harvard alum, Peter Exeth, uh, is here to react. Brother, let, let's more deal more. with the law breaking and then we'll move over to the racism. They continue to shut stuff down, but there's no consequence and I keep hearing free speech, free, free speech. You don't get to stop traffic. You can protest on the sidewalk. Of course, uh, and you get to get arrested is what you get to get uh, when you do something like that. Yeah. And it's ironic to me that groups like, this group's called If Not Now, uh, that they think these protests are effective. Like you're trying to reach people in a way where they connect to your cause and want to support your cause, but all you have are people on a freeway trying to get to school, trying to get to work, trying to get to their appointments, who are now ticked off at, at you and your cause. This is to, these are like the hands on the painting people, yeah. uh, except in this case, this is a group that refuses to condemn a terrorist attack on October 7th and spews words on their website about, you know, cl racial and class hierarchy among Israelis. They are, are a, purport to be a Jewish group who says there should be uh, no Israel or one Israel, which we really do know means that Hamas would destroy Israel. Right. So they don't have any real context. They're just very passionate about hating Israel. So, Pete, I, I'm glad you pointed that out because there, there's two different groups here. There is the people that actually agree with Hamas and are legitimate racists and, you know, want to eliminate Israel. And then there's a certain group that are just ignorant. They have no clue about the context of anything. What category do you put these group of people in? Well, I would put them pretty squarely in the second group because they don't understand the dynamics at play, mm -hmm. what it took to found the state of Israel, how under siege the Jewish people have been f since the beginning and to this day, and that there's been a lot of earnest people who've worked very hard, American presidents, Israeli prime ministers and others, to try to forge peace because people mm -hmm. want peace. And the reality is there has been land for peace. And then that land gets used by terror organizations motivated by Islamism that still want the destruction of Israel. So, uh, this group refuses to, to do meetings. They just do public stuff uh, to agitate, to put pressure on people. What are they agitating for? What is this solution they deem? Is it, is it a utopia where everyone just breaks out and agrees on things? Mm -hmm. It's been a couple thousand years. That's not how it works. Let's yeah. get serious about the reality that there's a terror organization trying to totally eradicate the Jewish people. Well, they don't have a clue about radical Islam. That's part of the problem, too. Real quickly, exactly. Harvard, Not at all. where you used to go, and I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. You're a smart man, uh, but you had, had your own set of values before you went it. to Harvard. Um, they're still not getting rid of the president. They're doubling down on it. She decided that she was going to attend the ceremony yesterday. Does this move the needle at all? No, uh, it just means we've officially moved into the pandering phase, yeah. Lawrence. Uh, it means when, when her students needed her the most to, with clarity, condemn what happened on October 7th, she couldn't do it then. Then when she was in front of a congressional testimony uh, panel, able to very clearly say that calls for genocide are speech that would make students feel unsafe, she wouldn't do it. So now to paper all of that over, she goes to a ceremony, which is fine. It's a wonderful ceremony. It's, it's great. But you weren't there when those students needed you the most, and they know you won't be there when they need yeah. you the most in the future. You know, I, I've, I've actually never been to a, a menorah lighting ceremony. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to at some point. But that, the reason why is because I know I support the Jewish people yeah. in, in the state of Israel. Uh, and, I, and I've been there and have invested in understanding the dynamics and the threats and what Israel's done right and what Israel's done wrong and what they're fighting for and who their enemies are. And I support mm -hmm. understanding fully the history there and respect their religious traditions in every single way. 
It seems Claudine Gay says, now if I just check a box and go to a ceremony, yeah. then it'll help protect my job. But I'm not actually going to stand I up mean, for it. I mean, it's the equivalent of refusing to condemn the KKK and then showing up to the Juneteenth celebration, saying, let's go have a bite to eat. I mean, it's just, when, when you put That's it into context, um, the, these people are showing you who they are. We should really believe them. Pete, thanks so much for joining the program. They're wrapping me.